hello everyone today i am going to explain about the method 4 and method 5th from the non exact differential equations so already we discussed uh, one two three methods in the previous sessions so in this session i will uh, explain about the method 4 and method 5 for the non exact differential equation how to make it as exact how to find the general solution to the given non exact differential equation so first a uh, fourth method procedure is if there exist a continuous single variable function f of x such that 1 by n into dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x is equal to f of x then e power integral f of x dx is an integrating factor of m dx plus n dy equal to 0. So when we uh, will uh, consider this method is if the equation is non-homogeneous and non-exact and the equation is non-exact uh, and it is not in the form of uh, y into f of x y dx plus x into g of x y dy equal to 0 directly we can go to the fourth method in this method you need to check the term 1 by n into dou m by dou y equal to dou n by dou x if it is in the form of f of x means that single variable function for x then you can take the integrating factor is e power integral f of x into dx so here example is there that is 2xy dy minus of x square plus y square plus 1 into dx is equal to 0 it is a non-exact differential equation but how to check uh, is it, it is belongs to the fourth method means is it a homogeneous first you have to check it so here the order is 2 here also order is 2 here also order is 2 but we get a constant order of the uh, term is 0 so that's why all the terms order is not equal and it is not in the form of y f of x y dx plus x g of x y dy equal to 0 also. So that's why directly we can go to the fourth method. So that is you need to check this term. This term value is a single variable function in x. Then we can apply this method. Now I will explain with example. That is 2xy dy minus of x square plus y square plus 1 is equal to dx. Here m is equal to dx coefficient is m. m is equal to minus x square minus y square minus 1. n is equal to 2xy. So dou m by dou y equal to minus 2y because of x square derivative 0, 1 derivative 0. Only y square derivative is 2y minus 2y. And n is equal to 2xy. So so, dou n by dou x is equal to 2y x derivative is 1, 2y is constant 2y. Here it is minus 2y, it is 2y. So, that's why dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x. So, that's why given equation is non-exact differential equation. How to find the integrating factor? Now, we will check the term 1 by n into dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x that is equal to n value is is 2xy so 1 by 2xy into dou m by dou y value is minus 2y minus dou n by dou x value is 2y we already get these terms and substitute the value we get minus 4y by 2xy y y cancel we get minus 2 by x so this is a single variable function in x so that that's why the integrating factor equal to e power integral f of x dx here f of x is equal to minus 2 by x that is e power integral minus 2 by x dx so minus 2 is constant integral 1 by x dx so we get e power minus 2 log x this one write as e power log x to the power of minus 2 because of we know that e power a log x equal to e power log x power a so and also we have a one property e power log x equal to x here in the place of x we have x power minus 2 that's why we get x power minus 2 x power minus 2 means it is equal to 1 by x square so i wrote the properties here i applied for uh, exponential that is e power a log x equal to e power log x power a this value equal to x power a that is taking from e power log x equal to x 
and here our integrating factor is 1 by x square. So, equation 1 multiplying by 1 by x square we get 2xy by x square dy minus x square plus y square plus 1 by x square into dx. Now, 1x cancel. So, we get 2y by x dy minus. So, here separating the terms x square by x square is 1 plus y square by x square plus 1 by x square into dx equal to 0. Here m1 is equal to minus 1 minus y square by x square minus 1 by x square and n1 is equal to 2y by x. Now find dou m1 by dou y. So with respect to y means 1 derivative 0, 1 by x square derivative is also 0. And for this term minus 1 by x square is constant, y square derivative is 2y. Next going to the dou n1 by dou x. Here 2y is constant 1 by x derivative is minus 1 by x square that is equal to minus 2y by x square. So, dou m1 by dou y equal to dou n1 by dou x. Equation 2 is exact differential equation because of it is satisfied the exactness condition. So, the general solution is integral m1 dx plus integral n1 dy equal to c. That is here in the integral m1 dx y constant integral n1 dy only the terms independent of x. So, write m1 minus 1 minus y square by x square minus 1 by x square dx plus. So, in the n1 no term is independent of x. So, that is why we can write here 0 dy equal to c. Now, minus negative sign right outside and uh, your integrand is 1. So, that is why integral dx is x plus y square is constant 1 by x square integration is minus 1 by x plus integral 1 by x square is minus 1 by x that is equal to c. Now, multiply with negative sign we get minus x plus y square by x plus 1 by x equal to c. If you take a LCM then we can get minus x square plus y square plus 1 by x equal to c. That is minus x square plus y square plus 1 is equal to cx. This is our required general solution to the given non-exact differential equation. So, next method is method 5. So, in this method, we have to check the equation is non-exact and it is not belongs to the homogeneous differential equation and it is not in the form of um, y f of x y dx plus x g of x y dy equal to 0. Then we can check the term 1 by m into dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y equal to g of y means we can get a single variable function in y. Then write the integrating factor is e power integral g of y dy is an integrating factor of m dx plus n dy equal to 0. So that is uh, the definition for this method is if there exists a continuous single variable function f of y or g of y such that 1 by m into dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y equal to g of y then e power integral g of y dy is an integrating factor of m dx plus n dy equal to 0. So, that is we can uh, take the example and here integrating factor is 1 by y cube. So, what is the difference between fourth method and fifth method is you need to check the terms 1 by n into dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x. If you get a function in x, you can apply the fourth method. Otherwise, if you find 1 by m into dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y, the function is in single variable of y, then you can apply the fifth method. So, I will explain with the example. Fifth method, solve y power 4 plus 2y dx plus 
एक्स वाई क्यू प्लस टू वाई पार फोर माइनस फोर एक्स डी वाई इक्वल टू जीरो सो हियर एम इज इक्वल टू वाई पार फोर प्लस टू वाई डो एम बाय डो वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर वाई क्यू प्लस टू एन इज इक्वल टू एक्स वाई क्यू प्लस टू वाई पार फोर माइनस फोर एक्स डो एन बाय डो एक्स इज इक्वल टू वाई क्यू माइनस फोर एंड डो एम बाय डो वाई डो एन बाय डो एक्स बोथ आर नॉट इक्वल सो दैट्स वाई इक्वेशन इज नॉन एक्सैक्ट नाउ यू कैन फाइंड वन बाय एम इन टू डो एन बाय डो एक्स माइनस डो एम बाय डो वाई दैट इज इक्वल टू वट इज अवर एम वन बाय वाई पार फोर प्लस टू वाई इन टू डो एन बाय डो एक्स वाई क्यूब माइनस फोर माइनस डो एम बाय डो वाई इज माइनस फोर वाई क्यूब माइनस टू दट इज ईक्वल टू here minus 3y cube minus 6 we get here y cube minus 4y cube that is minus 3y cube minus 4 minus 2 minus 6 from the numerator you can common minus 3 we get y cube plus 2 from the denominator we can common y we get y cube plus 2 y cube plus 2 y cube plus 2 equal to cancel it uh, equal to minus 3 by y it is a single variable function in y so that is integrating factor equal to e power integral g of y dy equal to e power integral minus 3 by y dy equal to e power minus 3 log y 1 by y integration is log y already we discussed how to write this one e power log y power minus 3 so the value is y power minus 3 that is equal to 1 by y cube here integrating factor is 1 by y cube so that's why we can multiply the equation uh, with 1 by y cube that is y power 4 plus 2y by y cube into dx plus x y cube plus 2y power 4 minus 4x by y cube into dx equal to 0 now comparing with m1 dx plus n1 dy equal to 0 before going to that you can separate the terms y power 4 by y cube y plus 2y by y cube Two by y square into dx plus x y cube by y cube. That is x plus two y power four by y cube. That is two y minus four x by y cube into dy equal to zero. So now m one is equal to y plus two by y square. Do m one by do y equal to one plus two into one by y square derivative is minus two by y cube. That is one minus four by y cube. N one is equal to x plus two y minus four x by y cube. Do n one by do x is equal to x derivative is one minus two. Y derivative zero minus four by y cube is constant. X derivative is one, so that is one minus four by y cube. So here both the values are same. That's why do m one by uh, do y equal to do n one by do x. So equation two is exact differential equation. Then the general solution is uh, integral m one dx plus integral n one dy equal to c in the m one y constant. In the n one only the terms independent of x you have to consider it. So m one is integral y plus two by y square dx y is constant plus integral only one term is independent of x that is. 2y dy equal to c that is we can write here totally it is a constant term because of uh, y terms are considered as constant and 2 is also constant so that's why y plus 2 by y square is constant integral dx is x plus 2 into y integration is y square by 2 2 2 cancel that is equal to c now our solution is y plus 2 by y square into x plus y square is equal to c this is the required general solution of equation 2 of equation 1 these two are the methods to find the non exact differential equations if it is uh, not in exact and not in uh, given form of uh, y into f of x y dx plus uh, x into g of x y dy equal to 
zero so then we can apply these two methods but these two methods are by checking with the terms 1 by n into do m by do y minus do n by do x you can get a single variable function in x you can apply the fourth method otherwise 1 by m into fifth method 1 by m into do n by do x minus do m by do y if you can get the single variable function for y then the integrating factor is e power integral g of y dy you can apply this method to the equation so these are the methods to find the non exact differential equations so next topic is linear differential equation so next topic linear differential equation that is depending on the form of the equation so an equation of the form dy by dx plus p into y is equal to q is called a linear differential equation where p and q are constants or functions of x so if the equation in the form of dy by dx plus p into y is equal to q of x p and q are functions in x are constants so this type of equations are linear differential equations so for this equations what is the integrating factor integrating factor is is equal to e power integral f of x into dx and the general solution is y into integrating factor equal to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c this is a solution to the linear differential equation example is dy by dx minus 2y by x plus 1 is equal to x plus 1 whole cube so it is in the form of dy by dx plus p into y is equal to q so that's why this equation is called linear equation so linear equation is also right in the form of an equation of the form dx by dy plus p into x is equal to q is called a linear differential equation where p and q are constants are functions of y integrating factor is equal to e power integral f of y dy solution is x into integrating factor equal to integral q into integrating factor dy plus c means that the reverse here if the differential is right as dx by dy then in the place of x we have we can write the y in the place of y we can write the x means that the here the differentiation of x with respect to y so that's why integrating factor right in terms of y and solution right with x so that is x into integrating factor equal to integral q into integrating factor dy plus c so these two are the um, forms for the linear differential equation so now we will discuss about the examples on linear differential equations so that are First one, solve dy by dx minus 2y by x plus 1 is equal to x plus 1 whole cube. So, this equation is in the form of dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x. So, that is p of x is equal to minus 2 by x plus 1. q of x is equal to x plus 1 whole cube. So, integrating factor equal to e power integral p of x dx that is e power integral minus, minus negative sign right outside integral 2 by x plus 1 dx so e power minus 2 log of x plus 1 so e power log of x plus 1 whole power minus 2 that is x plus 1 whole power minus 2 means we get 1 by x plus 1 whole square the general solution is y into integrating factor equal to integral q of x into integrating factor dx plus c so y into integrating factor is we get 1 by x plus 1 whole square that is equal to q is x plus 1 whole cube into integrating factor is 1 by x plus 1 whole square dx plus c. So, 1 plus uh, x plus 1 whole square is cancel in x plus 1 whole cube. So, that's why y by x plus 1 whole square is equal to integral x plus 1 dx plus c that is equal to integration whole integration we are write directly by using the integration of x power n x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 that is x plus 1 whole power 1 plus 1 that is x plus 1 whole power 2 by 2 
plus c we get y is equal to x plus 1 whole square equal to x plus 1 whole square by 2 plus c this is also right as y is equal to we can cross multiply this term x plus 1 whole power 4 by 2 plus c into x plus 1 whole square this is our required general solution for the linear differential equation so next example is solve x plus 2 y cube into dy by dx equal to y this equation is not a linear direct form but we have a possibility to write in the linear differential equation so that's why this equation first write as the dy by dx are taking into the rhs part we get y into dx by dy by using cross multiplication y into dx by dy is equal to x plus 2y cube if you divide with y we get dx by dy equal to x plus 2y cube by y that is x by y plus 2y cube by y that is equal to x by y plus 2y square we get the equation is dx by dy minus x by y is equal to 2y square. This is in the form of dx by dy plus p of y into x is equal to q of y that is. So uh, this is a linear differential equation in x. So that's why we can write p of y is equal to minus 1 by y q of y is equal to 2y square. So, integrating factor is equal to e power integral p of y dy equal to e power integral minus integral 1 by y dy that is equal to e power minus log y that is e power log e power sorry e power log y power minus 1 so then uh, we get integrating factor equal to y power minus 1 that is 1 by y going to the general solution equal to x into integrating factor equal to integral q of y into integrating factor dy plus c so here x into integrating factor is 1 by y that is equal to integral q of y is 2y square into integrating factor is 1 by y dy plus c now here one y is cancelled we can uh, we can get only one by two is constant right outside integration of y is y square by two two to cancel so that's why we can get x by y is equal to y square plus c this is also right with cross multiplication we get x is equal to y cube plus c y uh, this is about the linear differential equations